வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் பிளான்ட் ஸ்டோரேஜ் லொக்கேஷன் வியூஸ் இன் மெட்டல் மாஸ்டர் ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் த டீடெயில்ஸ் ரெக்கார்டிங் ஸ்டோரேஜ் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஷெல்ஃப் லைஃப் டேட்டா அண்ட் அதர் டீடெயில்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் இன் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் த குவிசஸ் ஆஃப் லாஸ்ட் செஷன் forecast for a material cannot be calculated if there is no past data for that material true or false false because if you have a past details for a similar metal we can have we can treat it as a reference material and it can be used to forecast the the another materials forecast for example you have metal a for which there is no forecast but if there is a similar metal b for which there was a past consumption then we can use the consumption of metal b as the past uh, reference material and use it here can we select number of periods to be considered in the past to arrive at the forecast yes there is option to select number of periods for example if you take a loss of 6 months sometimes it may be okay sometimes you have to take only loss of 3 months so you have to select appropriately number of periods to run the forecast forecasting model can be selected manually only true or false no there is option to select by system also so we can select manually or we can allow the system to select it by itself so after discussing the basic views purchasing view mrp 1 2 3 4 and forecasting views we are going to discuss plant store location views plant store location views have parameters which are Uh, client based plant based and store location based all the uh, organization based details are there that is why it is in the section of organization dependent and also organization independent column for a plant store location there are two views store location 1 and the plant store location 2 there are two views in the location 1 view we have the general data which is talking about the storage conditions like temperature condition storage condition hazardous material container requirement those kind of things in case of shelf life data then we have another section on shelf life data which will talk about the shelf life how to maintain them and how it is going to impact on the goods received and the storage of the materials in the store location 2 view we have Uh, two sections one is on weight and volume these are the details which are taken from the basic view of the metal master and there are general plant parameters which uh, these things are coming from different views for example profit center is coming from the accounting view so here the general data is the first tab in the plant store location um, view one here it starts with storage bin storage bin is the field can be entered by the warehouse staff to identify the location within the store location where the metal is always stored for example if the warehouse management module is not there this field can be used to identify the location the storage bin field does not have any functionality within the inventory management it does not have any functions which means that we cannot get the details if you want to have any report or something like that we have to customize and can get it but it is not sort of any functionality like you know to store the metal from here moving metal from here and other those kind of things we cannot do please note that only one storage bin can be defined for each metal in the store location that is also one limitation here and then picking area picking area field represents group of w wm storage bins that are used for picking a lean warehouse management this is used in the lean warehouse management so when you have integration with lean this will be used and then temperature conditions temperature conditions field is simply the temperature at which the metal should be stored because certain chemicals or certain food products or certain metals those metals have to be kept at low temperature so those conditions have to be maintained here and temperature conditions can be configured through a configuration path then we can use those details here to update the parameters and storage conditions storage condition is similar to the temperature conditions where we will define how the metal has to be stored for example is it the bulk storage or test bed stored rack storage or those kind of details we can define using this and then container requirements container requirements is another field where which is 
defined at the client level please take note this is uh, defined in the client level and uh, this is used for use as the same for all the plants this field defines what container a metal should be stored and shipped because this is very important details this is defined in the uh, uh, again configuration has to be done okay so like you know the conditions like uh, which how to it, you have to store it what is the temperature these are client based details so we have to be careful in defining them then we have the hazardous metal number this is also like you no know, it is applicable to all right hazardous materials so this also we have to define and uh, put here this uh, number and then we have to use it hazardous metal is not defined in configuration but in logistics so here we can use a transaction vm01 using transaction vm01 we can define the hazardous metal number and then we can assign the hazardous metal here cycle counting physical indicator and also cycle counting indicator fixed these are the parameters to ensure that metal is coming under the cycle counting process so the cycle counting physical indicator it is to carry out cycle counting where we can put it as a b c d and the fixed indicator is when it is fixed this indicator will not change when we are updating the a b c classification if this is not fixed then during physical inventory indication this can be updated through abc functionality and then number of gr slips number of gr slips means we have to define how many gr receipt documents that will be printed during goods receipt and if it is blank system takes it as only one and then what is the label type and label form this is used to define what is the label type to be printed for which goods movement and how many labels should be printed which printer those kind of things are defined label form defines dimensions characteristics of the label please take note here there are some fields which are client specific there are some fields which are plant specific there are some details which are store location specific so please go through this each field and understand them which are all client specific plant specific and store location specific you have to define them accordingly and because if it is client specific means we cannot change across the plants if it is plant specific means we cannot change across the store locations so please understand them by going through that f1 help me know no? when you go through it system will say which is a client base which is plant base accordingly you can define it here we have the self life details in the self life uh, uh, data tab so first it is defined as what is the maximum storage period which is used to define what is the maximum storage for a metal before it expires that is the period which is defined so this is available for information purpose only it is not influencing any function in the system this is a maximum storage period which can kept and then unit of measurement of time it can be days months or years and then shelf life shelf life is defined as the minimum life which determines whether the metal can be received based on the shelf life and the days defined here for example if we define the days here if uh, here I mentioned no, that if the value is entered as 90 days but the shelf life remaining shelf life is 60 days from the date of manufacturing then gr will not be allowed here and total shelf life is defined at the client level right total shelf life for the metal is defined in the client level from the date of production to the shelf life expiry date and shelf life expiry date period indicator rounding value here the period indicator defines the period like a days months etc rounding value rounds up to the nearest unit of measurement defined in the period indicator plant store location two views have details which are taken from the basic views like uh, grass weight net weight dimension those kind of things and also there are other parameters the general plant parameters like uh, profit center and uh, um, uh, serial number profile loading group those kind of details because for storage uh, location they need to know what are all the details they needed so from different views these are coming here because some of the organization they may not provide the other views authorization to the store people so they can see the required details in this view itself in this session we discuss various attributes and plant storage location like storage condition shelf life data plant storage to basic details and other uh, parameters plant related parameters so let us see some of the quiz questions for this session so what storage conditions can be maintained in plant storage location views what are the conditions we can maintain 
parameters in plant soil location are both organization dependent and independent true or false what is the significance of shelf life defined right we have defined the shelf life what is the significance what is sled so these are the uh, quiz questions for this session answers will be discussed in the next session in the next session we will discuss in detail various parameters in the quality management view meanwhile please ensure you create a metal master up to plant store location views and please give your feedback in the comments column to improve the flow and contents of our course and please suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so they also get the benefit of knowledge sharing thank you see you in the next session take care bye